What's going on you guys? This is MX KDI here, another Dell Optiplex XE2. This is the small form factor. I'm gonna have upgrades. So I'm gonna switch to the other side. And you move the side cover panel. And I'm gonna go start off from the we're gonna upgrade upgrading the hard drive and do that and we're gonna do is remove the optical drive. There's a little clip right here. Press it up, slides to the left. And you're gonna disconnect the SATA and power cable. And it's got a little clip right here. You have to press it to the left to unlock the hard drive cage. And the hard drive caddy comes out like this. And I'm going to be upgrading guys uh, to two terabytes for the HD PC. This is for the home theater PC. I'm going to be using at least, uh, you're going to be going at least two terabytes. And if you don't want to use a hard drive, you can go with the solid state drive. If you want to do that, this is a two terabytes I'm going to be installing. This is the older one. It's only half terabyte. This is two terabytes right here. And you do that, you just install it back for the home theater PC. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be upgrading the memory. I'm to 16 gigs. So I move the memory right here, the little clips right here. Slides out. And I'm gonna be using guys a DDR3 1600 match pair. The memory I like is the Carsair, Kingston and Crucial. Those are the top three brands. Not ECC. I'm buffer memory for a desktop. And when you install the memory properly, you're going to hear two clicks. So it's got 8 gigs. And 16 gigs of RAM. Now I want to do is I'm going to show you guys. Let's put this back to the hard drive caddy cage here, and connect the SATA and power cable. And you're gonna this little secure clip right here. You press to the right, and you're done upgrading. Now I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade to solid state drive. So you're going to disconnect again SATA and power cable and disconnect the hard drive caddy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys so you get new the plastic solid state drive caddy this is a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch the sales line this is a Dell part number 01 MF 7D. I'm gonna zoom in the camera, you guys can see better. You can just go online and get this part number right here. This is for the Dell Caddy. Zoom out the camera. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the soul state drive. You can use any any kind of soul state drive you want. 2.5 inch will work. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh And this caddy right here, 2.5 inch, will work uh, actually for SSD and our 2.5 inch hard drive for a laptop will work also. Install it like that. Now you're gonna install it like this. That's it. And all you have to do is uh, connect the SATA and power cable. First, you're gonna install it back. Gonna connect the SATA and power cable. And install the optical drive back. 
And now I'm going to show you guys how to will be the last part is the video card. So you're going to do is remove the fan shroud right here, the little clips right here, you press up with your finger like this, comes out. And we're going to be upgrading the video card. And when you do that, uh, we're going to move the two PCI brackets right here, low profile. And the video card guy is going to be installing his, uh, through PCI Express times four slot because the PCI Express times 16 slot right here, it's in the bottom and the video card is to uh, using two two slots so it would not fit in the bottom but I'll be using the uh, drive through PCI Express times 4 slot but it's gonna be running the uh, PCI times 4 slot is actually a little running low bandwidth PCI times 16 slot is running off so basically it slows down the video card for low frame per second for gaming right here the slot so we're gonna do is uh, video guys I'm gonna be installing guys is uh, G GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Gigabyte this is the low profile and it comes with a low profile bracket and the power supply in here is uh what is it 315 watt so it should work perfectly fine i'm gonna switch to the other side so you guys can see better like this Video card is installed. Now you're gonna put this back the the latch right here, the clip for the whole of PCI brackets, lock it back, and you're done. And this is how it's gonna look. The back it's got both uh, two HDMI ports. This one Display Port and a DVI port in the back. So you guys, this is for like a HT PC, for the home theater PC, or for light gaming, perfectly. And I'll do separate video guys for the teardown disassembly, and the process upgrade will be separate video, to upload the video. So you guys, this is the end of the video, so you're going to put the side cover back on, and you're done. So you guys, this is the end of the video, thanks for watching, bye.